Hey, yo, in New York City, it's all over the news. Nurses are about to go on strike. They're thinking about going on strike and leaving their jobs behind. Stay tuned to this video. I'm gonna break that shit down to you. Check it out. So I'm not the type to watch the news, so I don't have all the details. But what I do know is that they're complaining about their job wages. They're complaining about being overworked. They're complaining about the increased patient load and they can't really deal with it. And I got to tell you, let's wait for this train to pass. So I'll speak to you from my own personal experience where I learned how to become a doctor was in the Dominican Republic, bro no supplies literally patients that wanted to get operated had to bring their own jugs of water patients that wanted a sheet on the bed needed to bring their own sheets patients that wanted to get blood work done just to know their hemoglobin level had to pay for the lab results i've had a baby coming out of a woman's uterus her cervix was eight centimeters dilated and i was supposed to transport her to deliver the baby to this other location and they said she cannot come into the hospital because she had to first go to the atm and take out ten thousand pesos so she could pay for the delivery of her child and i say that to say this my people whatever it is that the nurses of new york state are going through I'm not 100% certain because I'm not a New York City nurse, but I will tell you this. It sounds to me like if they're being overworked and they feel like they're not being compensated, then just look at them. The majority of them have negative venting mechanisms. The majority of nurses that I see, unfortunately, are not in the best health condition. They're overweight. They're overworked and underpaid. So of course they feel like they're getting too much work. Now compare it and contrast it to me, for example. I'm working 72 hours per week, 12 hour sh shifts on the overnight in the Bronx, carrying people up and down their stairs, dealing with pre-hospital care in one of the worst neighborhoods in the entire nation. in the infantry of medicine with a whole bunch of other stuff going on in my personal life and here i am happy feeling great why because i do martial arts because i track my food because i do exercise and it goes back to the same exact thing i went from holding people's brains in my hands and helping amputate a little kid's arm and almost dying because the stress got to me. I caught gastritis. I almost committed suicide because what I was living while becoming a doctor and the fact that I wasn't able to know how to handle it was killing me inside. So the fact that these nurses want to go on strike doesn't surprise me at all. And here's my proposed solution. Number one, you signed up for it. You got your associates, your bachelors in healthcare. This is God's work. No one said it's going to be fucking margaritas and little drinks with an umbrella on it by the beach. So take extreme accountability for the career path you chose. And if you want to be a woman enough, if you want to be man enough to continue to do God's work despite 
all the obstacles, then my advice to you is look for positive venting mechanisms so the job won't be as stressful. I mean, think about it. You go to a nurse's lunchroom, wait for the train. I went into this nurse's lunchroom, this nurse, nurse's lounge, this staff lounge in the hospital, and I was so grateful that they let me in just so I could heat up my food. But while I heated up my food, all I saw was the staff members stuffing their faces with chocolate cake that the hospital gave them as a gift. And how could you not be stressed, bro? Did you not remember from school that 90% of the neurotransmitters and the hormones that we have are in our gut region? Do you know that the food that you're eating directly affects your mood and the production of your hormones? So if you're stuffing your face with chocolate cake, yeah, you feel that high while you're eating it, but immediately after, you know you feel guilty. You eat one Oreo, just one and the next thing you know you, know, you ate the whole fucking sleeve how do you feel you feel lack of confidence because you broke the trust with yourself so you want to go on strike go right ahead i'm gonna still show up for these people i'm gonna still come out and help them but my advice to you is whether you go on strike or not take a extreme look in the mirror and stop complaining about what they don't supply you with. Supply it for yourself. I heard a fucking EMT talking about, oh my God, I'm upset because they don't get us this. They don't get us that. They don't get us bulletproof vests. They don't teach us how to defend ourselves. My man, no one's paying for my jujitsu training. I'm paying it for, for it myself. No one's going to come save you. You got to save yourself. I hope this helps. Peace.